Soil Erosion and Conservation What is soil? The soil is the uppermost layer of the earth's crust. It consists of pebbles of different sizes and remains of dead plants and animals. It also contains air and water. Soil is very important for all living things. In fact, life on land depends on soil. It supports the growth of plants. We all are dependent on plants for our basic needs like food, clothing and shelter. Soil is almost the home for many organisms like bacteria, fungi, germs and insects. What is soil erosion? Natural forces like wind, rain and running water helps in soil formation. But they can form the soil as well. At places covered by natural vegetation, there is a balance between disturbed by human activities or natural forces causing the top soil to be removed from the surface of the earth. The condition of wearing off or carrying away of soil by the action of water or wind is known as soil erosion. Soil is the foundation of all life on earth. As a result of soil erosion, the land loses its fertility. Land affected by soil erosion cannot produce enough to feed all the living beings who dwell on it. Farmers reap poor harvests. We should therefore know the agents responsible for soil erosion and try to stop or control their effects. Erosion by Wind Top soil is carried away by strong winds. Erosion due to wind is the greatest in areas where there is less vegetation. So you can see the picture soil erosion caused by wind. Erosion by water Heavy rain or running water washes away the top soil causing soil erosion. Heavy soil erosion occurs in hilly areas because river water flows faster on the slopes and takes the fertile soil away. On reaching the plains, the river slows down and the soil thus carried is deposited at the river bed. This is called silting. If the erosion in the hilly areas continues for a longer time, the amount of soil accumulated in the plains over the years will be huge. This can make a river change its course. Fascinating fact, while flowing downstream, a river carries sediments towards the sea. It deposits the sediments at the mouth of the river. Slowly, it builds up new wetlands there. Soil erosion causes water pollution. It can also lead to landslides. Landslides are moving of loose rocks down a slope of a hill or a mountain. This results in the loss of life and property. Human activities Different types of human activities also lead to soil erosion. Plants and trees hold the particles of soil together. When the number of plants and trees reduce, the amount of soil erosion increases. There are many activities of human beings that can reduce the plant cover. Let us study some of them. Overgrazing Human beings graze their animals. Too much of grazing of animals leads to the removal of plants from soil. Consequently, the amount of soil erosion increases. Deforestation Human beings are cutting down trees for various uses. Increased falling of trees increases soil erosion. The roots of trees and plants bind the soil particles together. Due to lack of trees, soil becomes loose. Various agents of erosion like wind and water then easily carry it away. Deforestation is the major cause of soil erosion. Fascinating Facts Land degradation is a human-induced or natural process which reduces the capacity of land to function. Soil Conservation Protection of soil from erosion is called soil conservation. Soil can be conserved by many different ways. Increase in Vegetation The roots of plants hold the soil firmly together and prevent soil erosion. So. Soil can be conserved by planting more trees. Planting of trees on a large scale on an open land which has not been a forest is known as afforestation. In India, we organize Vanamahotsav or 
Haritaharam in July and plant lakhs of plants in open places. So soil erosion can be prevented by planting more trees. If we want to grow more plants, the soil needs to be good. The leaves fall on the soil, decompose and form humus which makes the soil fertile. Adding fertilizers also keeps the soil fertile besides increasing the yield. Crop Rotation Crop rotation means the sowing of different crops at different times of the year. If the land is left bare after a crop is harvested, the land will be exposed to soil erosion and the next crop will not give good yield. Crop rotation always keeps the soil covered with vegetation. Development of pastures Planting grass and small plants reduces soil erosion, but cattle graze on these plants and expose the soil. To prevent such erosion, area should be reserved for pastures. Animals should not be taken to such places for grazing. Proper drainage system As flowing water is one of the major causes of soil loss, proper drainage system is necessary to prevent soil erosion. Drains with concrete linings can carry rainwater without causing any damage to the soil and thus help in soil conservation. You can see crop rotation helps in soil conservation. Animals should have reserved pasture lands to control soil erosion and drains with concrete lining prevent soil erosion. Construction of embankments Building embankments along riverbanks and burns around fields prevent soil erosion. Burns around fields help water to seep into the soil and raise the water table. Making terraces Cutting steps or terraces on the slope of hills and building burns on the outer edges blocks the speed of flowing water and helps in soil conservation. Planting trees as windbreakers Trees are planted in rows across the direction of the wind to protect against strong winds. They act like curtains and reduce the speed of the wind. This prevents the blowing away of the soil. These rows of trees are called windbreakers. Let's sum up. Soil is very important for plants and animals. Soil is formed by the weathering of rocks over a long period of time. The fertile topsoil is either washed away or blown away by the action of natural agents like wind and water. This is known as soil erosion. We can protect soil by growing more plants and trees, terrace farming and by building dams, embankments, etc.